Hello everyone, my name is Baha Mushri and I'm the Director of Motility and a Clinical Professor in the Division of Gastroenterology at Atrium Health at Wake Forest Medical University. I am super excited to be sharing with you the very first AGA clinical practice update on the evaluation and management of belching, abdominal bloating, and distension. And this is our expert review along with Dr. Doug Josman and Asma Shokat. In the first portion of the best practice advice, we discuss excessive belching and we differentiate it into supergastric belching, which is completely voluntary, versus gastric belching, which is involuntary. We discuss how the two can be differentiated based on esophageal manometry and impedance pH testing. And then we also talk about aerophagia at the end. Then in the second portion of the best practice advice, we talk about abdominal bloating and distension, and we really delve into overlap syndromes. So we talk about how patients with constipation can also experience abdominal bloating, how you can use ROM4 to differentiate CIC from IBSC, and then also ways to diagnose a pelvic floor disorder where patients may also have abdominal bloating. We talk about carbohydrate food intolerances and how dietary treatment and the help of a nutritionist is very important for patients who may have that. We talk about alarm symptoms and which alarm symptoms need more structural diagnostic testing, perhaps motility testing that may be necessary. We talk about patients with bacterial overgrowth and how breath testing can be very helpful and antibiotics have been studied and can help patients with abdominal bloating symptoms. And then lastly, we talk about abdominal phrenic dyssynergia and visceral hypersensitivity and how we can bring in our psychologists and gut-directed behavioral therapies to help our patients along with neuromodulators.